All right. Before we get to American history, I need to talk to you about a few things that you should have learned in sixth and seventh grade. And I want to review and make sure that you're aware of those. First, the Roman Empire. The Roman Empire was the really important empire in the Western Hemisphere. It was in charge of all the trade in the area. And uh, when Rome was in, was in power, the trade from India and the East through to the West was very good. Uh, all of the passageways were open. There was a lot fewer pirates in the Mediterranean, and everything was good as far as trade goes. In the 300s AD, the Romans encountered some problems, though. A lot of people wanted to move out of Rome. Why? Because there was high unemployment. There was a lot of crime and corruption and overcrowding. A lot of people had moved to the city looking for jobs. Because uh, the Romans were so successful in conquering other people, one of the things that they did was they took those people captives and as slaves they sold them to people in Rome who then did all the jobs that people who had low skilled jobs would be doing and getting paid a smaller wage for but then those people found themselves out of work and so crime started getting to be bad because people were desperate to make some money the rich decided to move out to country estates they called them villas and when they did that, they learned to become very self-sufficient. They also hired themselves small armies. They hired themselves workers that were uh, very skilled, who were blacksmiths, etc., who worked on their uh, farms and their estates. And eventually, they became so self-sufficient that they had huge amounts of land. They, grew, they bought more and more. And they had people who wanted to too much land for them to work, so they allowed people to work their land grow crops and those people were called serfs and they would pay a certain amount every year to the uh, landowner and the people who lived in the villas were soon called villains because generally they didn't treat the serfs very nicely this is the beginning of feudalism and feudalism ran for nearly a thousand years in Europe and it became a very important part of the society of the Europeans at this point in time here I am in Rome, looking at the Roman Colosseum, and there's Emperor Constantine. Yes, it looks like his statue broke. Ow, my head! And here I am looking at the Roman Forum, which was really cool, and I just can't imagine how incredible it would be. It's a massive size, how incredible it would have been back in the Romans' time. That was the Roman Forum, dudes. The fall of Rome came finally in 476. They came after several different sackings of Rome. And when you sack some city, you uh, pillage or loot or take all the value, valuable stuff. The Romans, Rome was sacked by the Visigoths in 410, again by the Vandals in 455, and then finally destroyed pretty thoroughly in 476 by the Ostrogoths. Remember, if you are Goth, you are from Germany. That's a German tribes. And then the Vandals actually came up from Africa at one point. The Vandals destroyed Rome so badly that they used a new term called vandalism, meaning to destroy things needlessly. Uh, here are some Roman walls in Spain. You can see how huge they are. They just dwarf the people and the cars. And even if you threw a, one of those cars at the walls, I, I just don't see how much damage it would do. I can't even imagine trying to attack something like that. Um, 